This is the littlest tiger moss. The tiny little hobby people, I think that's hobby people, tiger moss. The unfortunate thing about it is it uses this weird little tiny, tiny, tiny 35 milliamp hour battery and it seems like they're impossible to buy, which is a bit annoying because uh, it's because of the way it's made, it's hard to fly in with anything else. And the one I've got now hardly holds a charge. So, I mean, he flies okay with it, but I don't know how to get another battery for it. You can just about fly in with the little 70 milliamp hour batteries that come with the micro uh, vapor, but, but, they, but because they, they don't have the separate little wire on like that, they're just a straight battery, they kind of stick down at the bottom of them, which is not what the world's most satisfactory arrangement. Um, and oddly enough, they seem to give, if anything, even less flight time than this, which, since they're supposed to be twice the capacity, makes no sense. But anyway, ah, whatever. So now we're going to try and put the battery into it, which is an art in itself, because you've got to sort of plug it in there and then try and stick it on the Velcro. Okay. Little three channel, and he doesn't even have servos. He has like magnetic actuators on his, uh, but he does fly. He has made, of course, I, you want to be flying him in no wind. Three channel control comes with his uh, little miniature 2.4 gigahertz controller. And uh, so he has magnetic actuators on his rudder and uh, elevators. He doesn't have what you would really call a low voltage cutoff warning so much. When he reaches low voltage, his motor just stops dead. Well, I suppose that is a low voltage cutoff, but so I, we're probably not going to get much flight out of him here, as I see, because this battery doesn't hold much of a charge anymore. I don't think we'll see. I did put some. It, it, you, I charge it like with. Uh, one a little the, the 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 charger that came i think the, the, there's a connection to charge it off the transmitter or uh, i also charge it with the little charger that came with the, the mini vapor either way it means you're charging it off aa batteries essentially and I just put new AA alkaline batteries in the in my mini vapor charger I was using to charge it in the hope that that might charge it better. Because I think they, they just had the original batteries that were in it, which were like some sort of kind of freebie Chinese batteries. I actually turn in the other direction for a change, but... Oh, see, I don't... That's the thing, that's it. That's the cutoff. He's got no more battery. That's it. And that's all the flight I get out of him. See, I don't want to fly him over the long grass at all, because he'll just do that. He'll cut out, and I don't want to have to go and get him out of the long grass. He used to fly for two or three... He used to fly for two or three times that amount of time, but the battery just doesn't hold the charge anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, see, we've got it. see, I can power it up a bit again now, but that was basically the low-voltage cutoff. I think, anyway. See, those are just little magnetic actuators. Those little ring things operating that. No servos. The motor sort of seems to work now, but I wouldn't fly them again because it's just going to stop again. Yeah.